All right, this is all for one day of eating, minus blueberries, beef, and what else? Oh, and peanut butter. And I have all that stuff at home. So What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to eat like Brian Shaw. So I have everything written down here that he eats in one full regular day. It comes up to right about 10,000 calories, give or take. I have my fitness pal here, which is gonna help me track it, as well as what I have for breakfast right here as meal number one. Thankfully for me, today is a strong man event day, so that way I can try and burn off some of these extra calories and I can only imagine I'm probably going to have the biggest stomach ache alive because this is a lot of food for someone my size. I am 127 pounds. I measured myself today. I weighed myself today. And so let's see what the end of the day kind of plays out as and let's see how much food I can actually fit into my body. Here we have our eight eggs, we have our cinnamon toast crunch. I have two and three four servings in here, so I didn't think it would fit in a regular bowl, so Tupperware it is. We just finished meal one. It is actually like just over a thousand calories. I'll make sure to put all of the info here on the screen so you are aware. Still what kind of food I'm actually eating. Now I'm a little uncomfortable after meal one. I usually eat a fairly decent sized breakfast, but not that that size, not Brian Shaw size. So we'll see how the rest of the day plays out. Hopefully I can start burning off some of these calories and um, wear stretchy pants for the rest of the day. And maybe tomorrow. Okay. Goodbye. We're back and we're on to meal number two. It has been probably about three and a half hours since my first meal. Um, we ran to the store, we did a few things, and so I'm back and I am actually not hungry at all. I am still very, very full, but the second meal of the day is a protein shake and granola bars. So I have my RX bars, I'm gonna have two of these. And oddly enough, I do actually have some Redcon, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my shake. We're gonna do about 16 ounces of water.
where I'm going to tell you something about me that probably very few people know. I hate drinking protein shakes. That is it. I hate them. I think that if I can get my protein elsewhere, I definitely should. Um, but here is the deal. All of this and this does not equal the amount of carbs that I need for this meal. So I don't know what kind of granola bars O'Brien Shaw is eating, but this is nowhere near the 92 grams of carbs that I need. This is actually, so this is 23, 23. So we can, let's say round high. So roughly 50 grams. This, I put three scoops. So this is nine grams of carbs. I only need one tablespoon of peanut butter, so that's four. So that's 13 plus 50, so that's 53 grams of carbs here, and I need, I need 92. So I need about 30 more grams of carbs. Let's see if I have something in my fridge. We eat a lot of bread here, so just go with it. I think I might have to get some waffles, but they are in my deep freeze, so I'm back. All right, we're gonna go with waffles. If I heat, if I eat two waffles, I will have 29 grams of carbs, which I need roughly about 30 waffles. It is. So I've probably prolonged this enough. Okay, here we go. I don't like protein shakes. It doesn't matter how good they taste. It's just not the same as real food. And I know you know how I feel. Okay. And also, if you don't like the lid, are you really into fitness? Like really? Bars. They're chewy. Hurt your jaw. I think I'm gonna have to come back to this one. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna take my waffles. Start on these. Going to get ready to train and I hope that it makes me feel better because I am so full I honestly feel like I'm just going to throw up at any given moment so I'm hoping this helps work some of this morning's meals through me because I am just about at at my limit like I feel like my food is up to here and so cross my fingers because <laughs> we're only on meal two we'll just say that I'm definitely not going to make all 10,000 calories just today but it's not for lack of effort, it's for, um, I just don't want to get sick type of deal because I feel miserable. Like I feel like I just have been binging all day on crap 
I feel very, very sluggish. I feel very tired. And it's weird because it wasn't really all that bad of food. It was just different food, apart from the cereal. Obviously the cereal is fake processed junk. I've had less than whole food, we'll just say. So here we go. I just got done lifting so far I don't feel any different I feel still twice as tired still twice as sluggish I don't know after I shower see how I feel try and get in one more meal my goal is to get in at least one more meal so it's not a complete failure today um, I want to give this a, a valiant effort I know I'm not going to be able to get all of it in just by how I feel right now but I'm going to try and at least get more in. Okay, you might find this hard to believe, but I'm actually hungry. It is 9.30 now, so I got done lifting about 7.45, and it just kind of hit me. So I figured I'd make the meal that I have been actually the most excited for, and it was the pasta. So I love spaghetti. And I'm not entirely sure where uh, Mr. Brian Shaw is getting his numbers from, because I buy really lean beef, um, just because fatty beef, well all beef is fatty, but the more fat that's in the beef, the more upset my stomach gets. And so, let me grab my phone. So Brian Shaw is claiming that his pasta meal for the day is equaling 172 grams of protein. With my protein from a whole pound of beef, and I have four and a half servings of pasta which is the amount of carbs that he needs so with all of that protein combined I'm just over a hundred grams so that means I am 70 grams of protein short so where Brian Shaw is getting um, his protein numbers I really have no idea unless he's like adding stuff maybe he's drinking a glass of milk or like seven of them or maybe he's having another protein shake with his meal. But according to um, his YouTube videos and every article that I have seen, this is his meal, is the pasta itself. And so, I don't really know, but we're gonna go ahead and finish making it because I'm hungry. And like I said, I got my pasta measured out. So pro tip, I guess, use your cup uh, to help you measure out dry pasta. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cooking this and see how far we get. what I have left. You have to take it to work. Have to. Yeah. Please. <laughs> I don't want it to go to waste. Oh, I think that's hurt.
So I finished the day out yesterday with right about 3,000 calories. So that puts me at 7,000 calories short as to what Brian Shaw actually eats in a day. And now after going through some of the steps to eat his meals, so I accomplished three of his seven meals and his macros are not accurate. What he is posting and what he is saying that he's eating, he has to be either adding more that he's not saying or rounding on the high side. So as you can see throughout the video, um, things don't add up. So like for the protein shake that I had, I was short 30 grams of carbs, which is a huge number to just round out or to be missing from a diet. And then for breakfast yesterday, I was roughly about 10 grams of fat short, which is a huge number considering calories in fat are much higher than calories in like, let's say protein or carbs or something like that. There is nine calories per one gram of fat. So I feel like throughout the day, if I were to be able to try to finish all of his meals, they would be short someplace else. So I have a feeling that he's probably just rounding out or he's adding foods that he's not accounting for and letting you guys know because we all know that when we see other people's diet plans and meals, we want to follow that because we want to aspire to look like whoever it is that we are watching. So like take Dana Lynn Bailey, for example, if you want to look like Dana Lynn Bailey, obviously you have to eat like Dana Lynn Bailey, right? Wrong. There are other steps you have to follow in order to look like said person that you are trying to look like. So just keep that in mind when you do things like this and when you are trying to follow diet plans that other people have done that it might not work for you because you aren't that person. Everybody's gene genetics are different and everybody's training regimen is very different. Our bodies are just so different that one single person isn't able to follow step by step by step of somebody else and have the exact same results. But anyways, this challenge was kind of fun. I am absolutely looking forward to doing more of these for you. If there's one that you'd like to see, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, as well as hit that little subscription button because it really helps out. And I'll catch you guys next time.